Hi guys, Shayna here with Witchin' Bitchin' and Glitter. And this is my uh, week 100 submission for starting out solitary. Um, the question this week is, how did you find your path? And I've answered this question a lot um, with the YouTube Pagan Challenge and with, you know, other videos and just discussing online with people. And I don't know why this video has been so hard for me to make. I have tried to record it like 50 times and I just cannot seem to get out the story that I want to tell because there's just so much to it, but really there's not. So I am in my parking garage at work and everybody's starting to come in for the day. So if I kind of look around or hesitate for a minute, it's because people are walking by. So I was watching a bunch of Kellyanne Maddox, excuse me, Kellyanne Maddox videos for tarot back in late December, early January, because I finally wanted to learn my tarot. So, I started watching her videos and there's a lady looking at me funny. Anyway, I started watching her videos because I wanted to learn tarot again. I've been interested in tarot. I've tried to learn tarot before, but it, you know, anyone who's tried to learn tarot is it's very It's very intimidating. It's very overwhelming. Um, you know, you don't want to do it wrong. And I didn't really understand the intuitive side of tarot. So that she really helped me realize that. As well as finding this path helped me open up to my intuition more, which I've always used and it's always been a part of me. But there was some sort of blockage and so that it's opened up definitely much, much more since I started this path. So I was watching her tarot videos and um, I, I kept noticing like in the suggested videos, there were these YouTube Pagan Challenge videos. YouTube Pagan Challenge, YouTube Pagan Challenge. Well, the only Pagan I knew of was, you know, what I'd been raised with and you know the Hollywood version and it was a bunch of crazy devil worshipers so at first I'm thinking holy crap all of these like crazy devil worshipers are just out here on the YouTube and they have a challenge so naturally I was curious and so I clicked on some of the videos and I'm just I'm, I'm waiting I'm waiting for the devilly stuff so I'm watching and I'm watching and first of all, I think these people are really cool and I would love to hang out with them. Second of all, they believe what I do. They're, they're t speaking my language right now. Like this all makes sense to me. Um, third of all, WTF and fourth of all, am I a devil worshiper? So, needless to say, after watching many, many videos and then starting to do some research, I realized that pagans are not devil worshippers. Like, first of all, and then I started learning, you know, about pagan witches and witches and witchcraft and that that was actually a thing. And all of these things I had believed and been doing my entire life were actually a thing. 
other people were doing it too. Other people felt completely natural, you know, putting your rose quartz in their pocket when they're anxious, you know, or seeing a number on a sign and knowing that means, hey, something's going to happen, you need to pay attention today. You know, just things like that, like symbols and signs and everything was always a symbol and a sign for me. And I just, I was like, oh, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, I'm a witch. Even though I've always said I'm a witch, it was always kind of in a ha ha ha, well I'm a witch, well I'm a witch. And then I was like, holy crap I am a witch I tr I am a witch and you know honestly once I acknowledged that um, it just it was like the missing piece of the puzzle even though now I have all these things I'm trying to learn and all these things that I'm trying to figure out um, it opened the door on my intuition and it opened the door on my trust of my intuition and you know I'm learning that just because somebody in a video or somebody in a book does it this way it and it feels right to do it for me to do it this way it's okay for me to do it my way and it doesn't mean I'm doing it wrong you know I, I had to kind of get out of that even though I wasn't raised in a Christian home I, there were a lot there was heavily Christian influenced so I had to kind of get out of that mindset and I had to get out of that like good and evil mindset and it's hard to shake that and you know every once in a while I still get tripped up by it but you know I've only been on this path a few months so that that's not surprising if you ask me um, so yeah, I am I, I am an atheist. I don't believe in God and goddess. Um, I believe in just a universal energy or a universal knowing that we all have. It runs through everything and everybody. We're all linked together. Um, all living beings are linked together somehow. Um, I think that might be like the red string theory or the string theory or something like that. If you watched the series Touched, I think is what it was called, with Kiefer Sutherland a few years ago, that first season, I was like, oh, yes, this is this, this, all of this, this, this is what I, yes, I know all this. So, anyway, if you want to go back and watch that, if you haven't, oh, I highly recommend it. It's so good. I think it's on Netflix. Um... So yeah, I I am 100% in the closet. If I could be 110%, I would be. I do have one friend who is also on this path, um, but nobody else knows. Even though I have my tarot, I have my altar at home, everybody refers to me as a witchy friend. Like, I have a friend right now, I have one co-worker that I drive nuts because he knows I make videos but he doesn't know what about and I tell him all the time we've talked about it before but you think I'm kidding and it'll be you know he'll say we need to do a spell on this room or you know every time one of the sabbats comes around it's you know around a Christian holiday usually and so I'll always say you know Beltane for you pagans out there you know whenever I'm saying what the holidays are and I always know when the moon cycles are and all that stuff so and we talk about that at work so he is on a mission to find me and find my videos so if he should ever find them then there will be one other person who knows about this um, my family doesn't even know I make these videos. <laughs> I don't know. I am fully unprepared for the day they find out, but I'm unapologetic. I just don't feel like explaining it to anybody. If they figure it out on their own, they can figure it out on their own. My kids, you know, my daughter, she kind of gets it. She kind of knows, but she's been around me my entire life, so she she's, tells people my mom's a witch. 
don't piss my mom off, she's a witch. So, my son, he wouldn't care. My husband, he he would just, I, I'd not be surprised, but it's just, 